Okay guys, if you've seen my uh, last two videos, the one at the hatchery and the one at the catfish, you know we got some snakehead. I've been wanting to do snakehead for a long time. But <laughs> it's hard to get snakehead that'll eat, that are trained to eat floating food. They only want to eat live stuff. That's the problem with catching the wild ones. These are supposed to be trained to eat floating food. Catfish food. Uh, these cost three baht each, so that's about twelve, ten or yeah, eleven actually, about eleven per dollar U.S. dollar, eleven fish for a dollar. They're very active in the bag. They're jumping all over the place. See down in the bag, they look good. They really do. <laughs> They're just sitting in the water. This tank is still filling. This is rainwater right out of my rainwater tank. There they go. There's 100 of them. Wow. And they look really, really cool. That's for sure. Look at that. See what they do, they're not as active as the catfish. But pretty cool, ain't it, huh? I tell you what. Like I said with the catfish, I'm not gonna feed them today. Especially with these, I don't know, I think the hungrier they are, the better to get them to go after the, the floating pellets. That might sound cruel to some, but uh, if they don't go for the, for the pellets, they ain't gonna make it. You know, it's, it's uh, survival for them. But they look really good. I don't see any damaged ones at all. There's no dead ones. Look at it, look at it. They're really cool, huh? And these get big. Trust me, I bought some for to eat. <laughs> they get big. I have a cooler for a snakehead. Really cool fish, huh? Really, really cool fish. But it's an experiment. I don't know if this is going to work. That's why I bought a hundred of them. If this works, next time I'll have more, more snakehead than catfish. Really cool, man. I have to say. Let <laughs> me <laughs> go check out the camera. These guys, they had uh, shrimp, and uh, they they sell shrimp, but they didn't have any babies there. They're going to get some. They must get them from somewhere else. Uh, they say they come on the twentieth. They had uh, crawfish there. First time I've seen them in Thailand. I know they're here. But expensive, ten dollars each. Done uh, three hundred baht for one. But really cool, anyway. I think that's something the the farm is not really worth it. But it'd be cool to have in a fish tank. Pretty cool, ain't it, huh? Happy, happy little fish. This is the tank, the 500 liter tank, the first one that I started with, with the catfish. I just had frogs in there, they're gone now. Pretty cool, man, I tell you what. Good water here. Nice water, eh? Mm -hmm. This is rainwater of the tank. I know to uh, strain the rainwater now because it's the debris that settles into the bottom it looks really bad in the fish tank. Not that it really matters. It'll just settle here too. But pretty cool. I don't know how long they are. Nearly two inches, I'd say. Inch and a half to two inches. But skinny, skinny. But really, really nice and healthy, no marks on them at all. They're all active. 
Could be interesting. Yeah, they got a head like a snake. That's why they got their name. That's uh, pretty cool, isn't it? If this works, I'll have a lot of updates on these guys. We'll see what happens. Need to make them a, a filter. And, uh, I just had to hook it up. I got one. I think that's it, guys. I can watch this stuff all day. It's <laughs> just mesmerizing, you know? So relaxing. And this tank is perfect for it. That's what I don't like about the big tank. There's a commotion over there. That's my snake head, the big ones. <laughs> The, the big tank is hard to see inside. This one is perfect for videos. Alright guys, well that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy.